Baton Rouge General and the parish's EMS are working together to improve responses to heart attack patients. Today, the teams went through real world heart attack scenarios in hopes of advancing training efforts. Our photojournalist Robert Hollins gives us a closer look. Most fundamental skills are done in fairly controlled environments. When you ride bulls, you're never really ready. It just gets to be your turn. And yeah. Today's training is a joint collaboration between the East Baton Rouge Parish EMS and Baton Rouge General. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Hey. I don't feel good at all. I think I'm about to die. What's going on? My arm. Your arm? My arm and my chest are killing me. A heart attack, it's a very time sensitive event. Okay, when did this start? One of the points of today's training is to take what is a basic skill in medicine, simple psychomotor skills in medicine. Let's get you on the stretcher first, okay? Uh, normally done in a controlled environment and put them in an uncontrolled give environment. Get an IV started, giving them some Zofran. Zofran oh. For us on the physician side, this is just highlighting the importance of getting our patients in very early for treatment in critical illnesses. I have a 35 year old male that's complaining of chest pain out of eight out of 10. Oftentimes, those critical first 30 to 60 minutes are the most crucial if a patient can get urgent care in that setting. Every minute can make a difference on how much damage is being incurred by the person who has the heart attack. We expect it to have that artery that's causing the heart attack open within 90 minutes. We have our times down to 46 and a half minutes at this hospital because of protocols that are in place. And it's made a tremendous impact on survival for patients. Three minutes from our door to the cath lab. This time is muscle. Every minute counts. 